Tony, thanks so much. Now to your community focus at 4, 12 News is your local election headquarters, and there is no shortage of topics to discuss. That's right. Live at 4 today, we're joined by 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming. And Joe, we're just about two yep. and a half weeks away from the Rhode Island primary, and just this week, we saw the first negative political mm -hmm. attack ad among the Democratic candidates right. for governor. Uh, what does that say to you about the races this year? Well, the race is starting to heat up now, finally. It's been a long time. People kept thinking it was going to heat up sooner, but now mm -hmm. it's starting to heat up. Yesterday, I think, should have been a really big day for Nellie Goy Bayer because she was coming out the first attack hat. Also, she was getting a big union endorsement in the afternoon from SEIU. However, because of the mess up in the ad, where there was two problems with that ad, that became the focus yesterday. So she had to backtrack, redo the ad, make a lot of changes. So I don't think she had the type of day that she was expecting yesterday. Ted Nisi was right here talking uh, with us yesterday about the challenges with right. the ad uh, that you were just describing there. What's your take? Do you think something like that will have an impact? Does the average voter care about a blunder like that? That's an excellent point, Brian. I don't think the average voter really cares that much at this point. They probably hear a little bit about it, but they're going to look at the ad when it's recut and they mm -hmm. show the new ad. I don't think it'll have a real big negative impact on her, but it does. It takes them off the game for a day. And that was a big problem. She, and even today, they're still a little bit off the game. Now she has to get back on track and get her message out. She's running out of time. There's only about 18 days left. So it's going to be very crucial that she really focuses in the next 18 days. And looking ahead to when all of the candidates for governor will be here live in our studios for our September 6th debate. Our most recent polling shows a lot of voters are still undecided. So what right. do these candidates need to do to win support? Well, we're going to be six days out. But keep in mind, voting has already started. Mail ballots have gone out. Early voting has started. As of yesterday, like 1,500 people had already voted. So a lot of people have voted by the 6th. But there's still going to be a lot of people who may not have decided then. So they're going to look at, look at that debate on the 6th and try to make a decision on who they want to support for governor. And I think you're going to see the candidates go at each other. I think it's going to be a very exciting debate where they're going to really try to knock each other down at times during this debate. Of course, a, a few key races. Tuesday is our 12 News debate with Democratic candidates looking for the second congressional district right. seat. What should we be looking for on Tuesday? Again, another one. The polling shows Seth Magazine a very large lead. The other candidates have all been the single digits. So the, the other three candidates who are in the debate really have to try to stand out to become an alternative to Seth Magaziner. I would assume that these candidates are going to take some shots at him. But again, they're all progressive candidates, so they all agree on a lot of the issues. But I think they're going to really try to distinguish themselves because they have to get moving. They're running out of time. Excellent news. 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming, always appreciate your insight. It'll be a busy few weeks. I'm sure we'll see you again. Okay. And a reminder, you can join us Tuesday for that second debate. We'll be hearing from Democratic candidates for the second congressional district seat. That's the one being vacated by Jim Langevin. They're squaring off live right here in our studio. The commercial-free hour-long debate will air live on WPRI 12 at 8 p.m. 12 News Now at 4 continues after the break.